Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm always always happy to connect with you guys. If this is your first time on my channel, you're highly highly welcome to like, subscribe, and leave your comment below. Hello, we're checking out another Muslim video, and the title is The Shocking Truth About This Life. Yeah, uh, there are a lot of things we need to learn about this life, and this one says it's the shocking truth about life. So, we have your time, guys. Let's just dive into it. Religion is supposed to unite human beings. It's not, it's not supposed to divide us. And if it's divisive, it's not religion from God. It's something else. And I think people should really think deeply about that. I, I, Imam Ali anhu, said an amazing thing. He said, al jamaatu ma'al al kudura khayrun min al fuqa ma safwa That the group with its impurities is better than sectarianism with its purity. That really think deeply about that you know that religion is here to unite us it's not here to divide us and if it's dividing us it's not God's religion it's something else and and so it's a great blessing to be in a place just where you feel comfortable and you don't have to worry about somebody telling you you're not doing this right you know, and, and if somebody did correct you, it would be out of love and not out of this arrogant, pious, self-righteous attitude of superiority. And so this type of religion, we have to fight it, really, because it's killing the soul of the Muslims. And it's all over the place now. You know, these memes, to use uh, Dawkins, I don't really like to use Dawkins terms, but you know, he came up with the idea of memes that are like viruses, intellectual viruses. Uh, and, and we've got these intellectual viruses that are making our community sick. And we really need to, you know, wash our hands, you know, in order not to get, right? You wash your hands. We have to clean our, you know, really purify ourselves just to make sure we're not infected by these attitudes and this arrogance and these things that are so antithetical to the Muslim spirit. So that's my hope really that you, you know, just the experience that you've had here, that you take that back to your communities. We didn't reveal this Quran for you to be miserable. I mean, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that to his prophet. We did not re re reveal this Quran for you to be miserable. The, the mukhalifa, the understanding, the reverse understanding is anzalnahu li tas'ad. We, we revealed this book to make you happy. So if Islam is not making you happy, something's wrong with your Islam. And if you're making other people unhappy, you know, woe unto you for driving people out of Islam. You know, and there are people that are driving people away from Islam. And this is, we're in the end game, people. I mean, if you don't see that, I don't know what planet you're living on. We're coming down to end game. Maybe it's 100 years from now. Maybe it's 200. I don't know. Those things are in the knowledge of God. But our Prophet said, I was sent and, and the end of time are like these two. And he put his wuspa and his sababa together. Just like that. I was sent and the hour is like this. That was 1400 years ago. And in terms of how long humans have been here, it's not a long time, 1400 years. It's, a, it's a, just a flash. So this is a time for people to have a lot of rahab, you know, just expansiveness in their hearts for people. Baza, baza, I wish I could quote it in, in Persian, but you know, we're in the city of Maulana, Jalaluddin, and he, he has a beautiful qasida, which is in the entrance to his maqam. Come, come again. Come. You know, whatever you've done. This isn't a caravan of despair. You know, sinner, if you've broken your vow a thousand times, just come back. <laughs> the door's open. And anybody that closes it is a shaitan. You know, and there's people closing that door on people that need to hear that message. You know, because this world can defile you, 
But no matter how defiled you are, Allah's door is open. No matter what's happened to you, Allah's door is open. I mean, we have testimony in the hadith to a mass murderer who was given tawbah. He killed a hundred people and he was given tawbah. This door is open and people, we need to open it up and let people come in with all their faults and all their flaws and all their dysfunctionalities and all their problems. Just open the door and let people come in. Hudayf al-Yamani, he said, the end of time won't come until the Muslims are like a big rock in a river. They don't drink from it and they don't let other people drink from it. And he said, and the one seeing it is not like the one telling it. So don't be like that rock that doesn't let the river flow and let people drink from it. This people need, they're dying of thirst out there. They're dying of spiritual thirst. Really, if we had in America spiritual disability as a possibility to get insurance and not go to work, we wouldn't have anybody working anymore. There are people, People are on antidepressants, they're on anxiolytics. They're really not well. People aren't well. And they need the reason they're not well is because they're not fulfilling their purpose. You cannot be well unless you're being human. We were created to be human, and the way that we are human is to surrender. It's just to surrender, to give up, to not fight Allah. Oh, another inspiring video, like, yeah, this is a good advice, like, he gave, like, religion is meant to, like, separate things closer together, and he referenced, like, the quote from, like, the Aziz of Ali radiallahu and may peace be upon him as well, like, he's saying, like, people that are perfect or working together, even though they have impurities with them, that is better than the one that thinks, like, they, they, are, they are imperfect, but they are separated, and it's really bad. We've seen that a lot uh, in the religion lately. People having different sects, people having different principles. Here, yeah. you just have to like follow the command of Allah. Just leave and take your brother. Like we are all Muslims. Yeah, you take your brother as your brother. It doesn't matter if he is from Shia, Sunni, or Eastern or Sunni, or Sufi, or Sufi, or something like that. So what matters is like. You. and sometimes so like you have some people they know the stuff they know about the religion but the way they convey the message to like correcting someone they do it in the way like possibly like they know everything no you talk to them put them down tell them like don't do this and this you do it like this and this That's the thing. like you you, you, guide them. you you're a teacher you guide them, correct people and you see you have to like open the doors like for people to come into religion but how would you Is always smiling to people. You don't can I can't just say someone and say you are a disbeliever. You don't do that in the religion. You talk to them, you smile, you encourage them to do better, to be better. Because like their action might be wrong, but like you believe in them, they can change all the actions. Frown on the action, but you tell them how to go about it. Because that there are a lot of people out there like wants to like know about the religion or know about God, but they don't have the right channel to go through. That's another thing you need to help spread the word in a beautiful way. And another thing is like you never give up on the mercy of Allah. And you see he reference like the guy that killed hundred people but he was forgiven. But he had it in mind that he wants to change, he wants to be better. So just ask for forgiveness and be better. Guys, that's all I have to say on this video. Like it's really inspiring. It's torturing me, like really torturing me. I'm I'm really connected to it. I really enjoyed it. Like I really enjoyed it. The, 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 the advice is really, really solid. So guys, come to the end of this reaction. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment.